Okay, so here's a scenario for you. Let's say that you're a filmmaker and you're working on a documentary. And inside your timeline, you have your interview footage, you have your B-roll shots, and you have some graphics. But you're like, hmm, something is missing here. Wouldn't it be cool to have a historical flashback moment of somebody recalling an incident, but that incident wasn't recorded on film, it wasn't captured, it was before film from thousands of years ago. So you have two choices. You can go out and film that reenactment or you can do an animated sequence. But here's an interesting proposal. What if AI could generate that historical flashback moment for you based on a text prompt? That's an idea, it's worth investigating. Let's jump on in. So a few months ago, NVIDIA AI reached out to me to review their new V3 generative model that can not only generate a script and a voiceover, but it can now generate an entire complete video from a text prompt. It's kind of like what I showed you with Adobe Firefly a couple weeks ago, but instead of just individual clips, this can produce an entire edited sequence of generative clips, plus music, voiceover, and sound effects. So of course, we're gonna put it to the test to see how well it works with my own flashback idea I have for a documentary. But first, let's take a look at some examples of what it has produced so far. In the depths of forgotten forests, an ancient evil stirs. They called her Baba Yaga, the witch of bone and shadow. For centuries, she slumbered, a nightmare waiting to be awakened. Now, as darkness falls upon the world, she rises, hungry for vengeance. Her hut of chicken legs stalks the land. Her magic, a force of nature unleashed. Those who seek her out, beware. For in her realm, the line between ally and enemy blurs. Baba Yaga, where myth becomes terror. Baba Yaga, where myth becomes... It's like an American football commercial for <laughs> Baba Yaga. This door situation, what happened here? Um, so some odd things, right, are happening. But overall, it's pretty cool that it just created this whole story about Baba Yaga without having to give a script, right? The detail here of the hand is is pretty good with the nails. It's creepy. Overall, like the voiceover, I think is more of like filler for like a professional to come in and actually do the voiceover. But let's check out another example where it's just B-roll generation, just shots without a voiceover. Right. I mean, beautiful shots here, the mushroom shots here, the water droplets. So I like that it can create a script or you can add your own script to create a voiceover to go along with the piece. But I think what I find useful as a professional video editor is if it can generate these shots to produce this kind of sequence that I can then insert into my film, I can then choose which shots I actually wanna use and put those in my timeline. And I think where AI strives the most is creating worlds that don't necessarily exist yet, things that are in your imagination that you wanna to bring to life and then insert into your film. All right, so with that said, let's see how well it can visualize my idea that doesn't have any archival footage to reference. So for my example, I wanted to create a visual animated sequence of a legend. And I thought of the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. And because I have some Scottish roots, I thought it would be fun. So when I was doing some research on the Loch Ness Monster, it turns out one of the first written recordings of a sighting of the monster was by an Irish monk named St. Columba in 565 AD. So because there was no cameras or photos of St. Columba, how cool would it be to generate a sequence about this first sighting using NVIDIA? So here I am inside of NVIDIA AI. I'm on V3, which includes the generative media, new voices and more. Now you can try out this UI for free and you can use my link below to go try that out. But 
in order to actually generate it, you do need to sign up for a generative plan, which is $120 per month for a monthly plan. Or if you do an annual plan, it's $96 per month. Now you might be like, whoa, 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 gal. That's a lot. I had the same reaction. It does seem like a lot of money. And I think the way that they price it is basically like if you can generate a whole film and you subscribe for one month, then you can get those outputs and then unsubscribe. So my main feedback to NVIDIA AI with this pricing is that you only get 15 minutes of generation. So that's just 15 one minute generations, right? And not all of them are usable. So I think more minutes should be given. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves and form our full opinion here, let's actually show you what it can do to see what value it can give you. So here you can type in your text prompt or you can start from these different templates. In our case, I'm going to choose create an animated film. So then here you can choose your length, animated film, and here you can choose your platform. Now, one feedback that I would advise here is what if you don't want it specifically for a platform, but you want it based on an aspect ratio? Maybe they can choose landscape vertical here instead of the platforms, but I understand why, because some people are generating for these platforms. Because we're doing 16 by nine, we're just gonna choose regular YouTube for landscape. And then here we can type in our prompt. So I'm gonna copy and paste my prompt, which I worked on in a separate document here. I recommend being as specific as possible for each shot that you want. For example, the first shot, the Loch Ness Monster with a long neck and hump swims in a dark, eerie glowing lake. Basically, you can think of the text prompt as a very descriptive shot list. You're essentially making a script yourself of what you wanna see and in video, is essentially bringing it to life for you. So let's copy and paste this. So underneath settings, I'm choosing only generated clips. For background music, it's good to be as generic as possible, but I'm gonna see what it can do with scary Celtic music, if that even exists. I'm gonna try without a voiceover first, cause I just wanna get a series of B-roll clips. And then in terms of animation style, you're given a bunch of different presets from Lego, Minecraft, all of these different looks, which are pretty neat. I'm going to try a psychological thriller because I want it to be scary. So we'll see what it creates with that and then press continue. And now let's click on generate video. So now it's just asking you to confirm the audience, the media pace and the platform. So for our audience, I'm going to put thriller fans, but you can also try mythology buffs, media pace. I'm just gonna do normal. Platform, again, this is just asking the aspect ratio, right? And then we're going to continue to use 60 seconds of our credits. So it says here that it might take a few minutes. It's more than a few minutes. When I've tested this, it took around 15 minutes for a one minute generation. I don't know how long it'll take for five minutes if it's the same or longer. So while this generates, I wanna note that NVIDIA is the sponsor of this video, but in no way did they tell me what to say, right? I never wanna do that. I never want to read an ad or hit talking points. I told NVIDIA, I was like, look, I wanna run my own test here to see how it might work for video editors and other creators out there and be fully transparent. So about 15 minutes later, this is the result I got. Ooh, I like this shot a lot. The dancing humps. The monk. <laughs> I mean, it got the right story elements there. It was kind of funny, the monk like moving his mouth like that and pointing. And what is this monster behind there? But I could see me using most of these shots here. I also wanted to try the same prompt again, but this time without using the animation template, just to see if we could get a different result. All right, so this background music doesn't work here at all. It didn't quite get the Celtic. It's probably something that it's not trained on yet. So instead, let's give it a new command to edit. Change the music to a scary cinematic soundtrack and then generate. And actually changing the music doesn't take as long as generating the whole film. All right, this is a bit better.
Some of these shots are not animated, they're just generated photos instead of generated clips. So remember, there's a difference. This shot is really cool with the humps. It's creepy, it almost looks like tires. Oh, the monk. <laughs> this is a really cool shot here. I like this monk better. It even included a sound effect of like a balloon. These photos are kind of out of place and strange. So I like some of the shots from the previous one and this one. So it would be cool to actually take both and I could probably combine it to create something really cool in Premiere Pro. Now I'm like, okay, now I wish that I could add a voiceover script that I write myself to match what it generated. So what I did is I basically typed out a script here of what I thought it would say. And then I said, uh, add a male Scottish voiceover with this script quotations and I clicked on generate, but there was an error in doing that. It wasn't able to add the voiceover after the generation was done. And I discovered later on too, that they don't really have a Scottish voice right now. They have British and different American styles, but not a Scottish voice. But instead of generating a voiceover with the actual mix, with the music itself, how cool would it be to just generate a voiceover itself that I could download separately from the video and then edit together on my own. I understand some people actually want it to be all together and a done product, but as a creative professional myself, I wanna be able to have more control and download the voiceover separately. And this gets to the point that it would be great to be able to download each individual sound as its own stem. So let's try the same text prompt again, but this time I'm going to copy and paste a narration script that I wrote to go along with the B-roll shots. And I'm going to select a narrator with a British voice because I don't have the Scottish option yet. So let's generate and see the result. It was the year 565 AD in Loch Ness, Scotland. The Loch Ness Monster with the pop music in the background is kind of funny. Its long neck and hump swam, looking for its next prey. Its piercing glowing eyes, alligator-like, could kill you with one glance. <laughs> I'm just like listening to the music right now. Let's just add in a quick command here to change it to a scary soundtrack. I don't know where it got this pop music from, but it can happen. So let's click generate. It was the year 565 AD in Loch Ness, Scotland. The Loch Ness Monster with its long neck and hump swam, looking for its next prey. Its piercing glowing eyes, alligator-like, could kill you with one glance. The long body could morph into many humps, evolving into what looked like multiple monsters. The voiceover is actually pretty good, but the coloring of these shots are different. Like this is more of a green tone and this is more blue. So I would have to go in and post and shift the green hues to be more blue so it matches. The monk, St. Columba, spots the Loch Ness at the perimeter of the lake. He screamed in terror. But before he could call for help... <laughs> the scream. He screamed in terror. But before he could call for help, the Loch Ness dove back into the water and was gone forever. Again, like I was saying, like not everything here is usable, but I can take my favorite shots from all of them and see how we can bring it together. Just one thing to note here is that the voiceover is pretty good, but I also wanna note that you can clone your voice now. If I wanted to clone my voice and have my voice be the voiceover, I could do that. In this case, I'm not going to, but if you're making content for your YouTube channel and you wanna have your own voice, that is possible. So what about editing controls here? You notice that there's a button here called edit. So if we click on that, we are given some more control. However, I do wish up here at the top, if you wanted to change these clips, you could just like click and move them around here, but right now you can't? Or what if you just don't like one and you wanna delete it? It would be great if there was like a trash can icon so you can just delete that particular clip if you didn't like it. Of course, there are text fields where you can actually go in and you can edit that particular text prompt to be a different duration and give a new description to regenerate it. You also have the option to switch to stock media if you don't wanna use generative. Another thing that would be really cool to have that I don't see here is character control because in each scene, the Loch Ness Monster looks a little bit different. And I noticed that that's an issue with almost all of these AI tools is that it's hard to get character consistency. So if you found a particular shot that you liked or a character that you liked, or maybe you could upload a drawing that you made yourself as a reference image, and that way all of the generated clips can have that particular look. 
that would be really neat. You can also go into settings and make further adjustments. Like you can add different types of overlays on top of your video clips. I personally would probably customize them myself in Premiere Pro, but it's good that you have this option here. You can also adjust the captioning preset if you have captions or you want captions to go along with your voiceover, that's an option. And there's also volume controls for the different types of audio. One thing that I do like about the music settings from the edit control is that I did prefer the music from our first generation. So I went into the music settings and I saw the title of that particular music track. So I copied that title and then I went to our most recent result and I asked it to change the music to the name of that particular track. And after I generated, it worked. So what I did is I pulled in all the different generations that I created with NVIDIA and I chopped up my favorite clips and I better edited it to the music and I added some overlays and here's the final result. It was the year 565 AD in Loch Ness, Scotland. The Loch Ness monster with its long neck and hump swam looking for its next prey. Its piercing glowing eyes, alligator-like, could kill you with one glance. The long body could morph into many humps, evolving into what looked like multiple monsters. The monk, St. Columba, spots the Loch Ness at the perimeter of the lake. He screamed in terror. But before he could call for help, the Loch Ness dove back into the water and was gone forever. Never to be seen again, only glowing ripples along the shore. So overall, it turned out pretty cool. So again, if you have that creativity and you have that perspective as a creative professional, you can create something pretty cool with what NVIDIA can produce. So I'd love to see what you think of it. You can use my link below to go try it out. And by using our link, it helps support the channel, of course. Many thanks to NVIDIA for partnering with us on this video. We're always game to try out different tools on this channel to see how it might you know, fit into our workflow. And if you wanna learn some more pro video editing tips, I wrote an ebook called The Video Editor's Checklist, which you can check out right here. That's all for today's video. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.